Jane Willard Wildcats. Happy Friday, October 30th. You might notice that I have crazy hair today and I'm dressed like Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. That's because you guys did a fantastic job at the readathon. You worked so hard and you met your reading goal. Special thank you to the PTA who supported you and special thank you to you and your families and your supporters who supported you as you read. So today I'm coming to you as Miss Frizzle and we have some birthdays to celebrate. Happy birthday to Althea B, Leroy KC, Amaya S, Christian M, Luna N, and happy birthday to Cumerian Q J. Happy birthday to Cumerian J. All right, today, Wildcats, we have one story by request, and I want to thank the Harugi and Ravila family for lending me this book called A Halloween Scare in California. A hall, prepare if you dare, a Halloween scare in California. Prepare if you dare for a tale full of chills, a story of pure Californian thrills. A night filled with sights that are best left unseen. You ready? You sure? This is my Halloween. The werewolves howled loudly. The moon shone so bright. I stayed in my bedroom, curtains shut tight. My heart started pounding. My knees felt so weak, but being a brave kid, I just had to take a peek. I pulled back the curtains, my mouth opened wide. An army of monsters had gathered inside. They staggered and stumbled and lurched down the streets with bags full of cookies and candies, corn treats. Emerging from sewers and houses and stores came creatures and critters with ravenous roars. Then more came along from all over the state. They filled up the streets at a dizzying rate. <laughs> From Bakersfield, Berkeley, and Monterey Park, the shadowy beasties emerge from the dark. You see there's elements of California there. They gathered together for one spooky night to seek out the living and give them a fright. The thunder clapped loudly with terrible booms. The witches dodged lightning and clung to their brooms. The two-headed doggies tried chasing their tails and banshees let loose with their hideous wails. The vampires hung out on the street in their gangs and grinned just to show off their pearly white fangs. It says, just married in California. The mummies moaned loudly and swayed side to side while Frankenstein stomped about town with his bride. A dinosaur munched on the Hollywood sign. The undead took coffin lids out of their graves and used them to surf on the gnarliest waves. A robot from Silicon Valley computed that humans were buggy and should be rebooted. Then something went wrong with his energy pack. He had to retreat, but he said, I'll be back. The creepies were crawling with crazies were crazed. The zombies from Fresno's had eyes that were glazed. The ogres from LA were ugly as sin with their big bulging noses and warts on their chin. The ghouls danced round and were lacking in soul. The gargoyles could rock and the headless could roll. Although the whole spectacular seemed to spell down a foolishly, I foolishly thought I'd be safe in my room. But then something happened that made my heart jump. From somewhere below me, I heard a big thump. I froze for a moment as quick as a mouse. Yes, I could hear noises from inside the house. The sight was horrific. It made my skin crawl. These monsters were having their Halloween ball. I love California. Look at that shirt. 
and right in the middle, one monster loomed tall, the hairiest, scariest monster of all. He turned round and saw me. I fell to my knees. I'm not very tasty, so don't eat me, please. He beamed ear to ear and broke free from the huddle, ran over and gave me a big monster cuddle. At last we have found you, he said with a smile. From Glendale to Reading, we've looked for a while. We came here to give you your wonderful prize. He held up a trophy in front of my eyes. It's his best costume in California. A prize and for me? But what did I enter and how did I win? I said with a grin, you've won the first prize for the costume you're wearing. It scares me, it even scares me. And I'm tip top at scaring. <laughs> this isn't a costume, I'm just dressed as me, exactly the scariest thing you can be. Your teeth are so shiny, We've, you've only 10 toes, no hair on your face and no horns on your head. The white of your eyes are not glowing or red, a bone chilling costume, a horrible sight, a worthy ensemble for Halloween night. That had a twist, didn't it? We partied together until the moon set, a Halloween night that I'll never forget. And the next year I won't want to hide in my bed. The monsters won't scare me. I'll scare them instead. Wildcats, remember, we are safe, respectful, and responsible. Be sure to be safe today and always, especially this weekend. And don't forget, on Sunday, we fall back. So we go back an hour. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday.